KVT Rocks. This is another in the series of who's going to be mayor and who's going to be in city council. And Carter Finnegan, you are running for city council. Yes, I am. Going to give it a go. What got you started? Um, well, politically, I think the climate in our country is big politics are pretty big and I think it's really important to focus on our local communities mm -hmm. and so I, I want to try to do some work here and get my foot in the door. I think lots of good work can come from small local government and so I'm hoping to have a voice in that. How do you see your role or the role of any council member for that matter? Ooh. I, I will say for probably the first couple months I want to get the lay of the land, um, hear out my constituents but also um, collaborate with other city council members. So I think I hopefully will be a collaborative and mostly listening for the first couple months. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I really do hope to get uh, my boots on the ground. It'll also be summer and I'll be more um, available with my schedule to actually go out and work in the community. Um, so other things that are particularly of interest to you? Yes, I love the recreation aspects of Newport and um, investing in our like parks mm -hmm. and accessing and making sure our schools are running well. I think those things are really important. So I hope to be a bug in people's ears for those sort of things. Um, there's been really, I love the park we have. I've just went ice skating. I think it's kind of the end of our ice skating season, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and also like last meeting, hearing from the principal of Newport City was really, yeah. I don't know, I, I, I want to be that person that's listening on the other end of the table. Yeah. So yeah. That's a really cool school. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really yeah, neat definitely. going in there. And that certainly would be something that would, you'd be very welcome. Yeah, yeah. And, and the kid, but you're a teacher anyway, so you know yeah. what it's like having somebody come in who could be fun. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just kind yeah. of shake it up. <laughs> How do you see your role with citizens? With citizens ears. I think we are born with two ears and one mouth for a reason. I say that a bunch, um, but I think with citizens is, is kind of hearing their messages and then taking it to the table um, and really getting that their point across. Is, is that kind of what you meant by the question? I mean, you've been to some of the city council meetings, mm -hmm. so you have certainly seen that there's tension currently yes. between the city management and residents. Yeah. How would you begin to work with that? I am a diligent note taker and I always make eye contact when I'm listening and trying to understand so I think I'd start there mm -hmm. um, and then I I don't know if they have a record or they keep track like of what the complaints are like after I know that there's an application and you're on the list and we hear you out but then that follow through I wonder if if that's something I could do um, or if it's being done I'd love to take that on mm -hmm. um, and then the follow-up so the follow-through I think I'd hope to be yeah, that I mean, the reality of a mm -hmm. citizen coming to City Council mm -hmm. is that's the end of the line they are people who have tried every other route that they know mm -hmm. and they have something that's really important to them and maybe to others as well so by the time they get to the council, by the time any of us get to the council with something to say, there's a lot of stress attached to it. Yeah. And it's really important that that be handled in a way that's sensitive. Definitely, agreed. Um, yeah, validating, like that's um, part of our work, right? like as a teacher, um, so working and hearing and actually kind of that follow through piece mm -hmm. and maybe even circling back with those people, if, especially since I've seen that there's a lot of returning people that have the same concerns. So it, it would be in everybody's best interest to try to meet them where they're at. Citizens tend to feel because we elect you mm -hmm. that you have a responsibility to us as well as to the town, which is a tough position to be in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to balance that. Definitely. I would hope that I come with like no baggage and I'm just going to be listening and try to do the best that I can. Yeah. I understand that that is a kind of finicky line of be, what can I, what are my actual abilities to do? But mm -hmm. I think the first and foremost thing is just to be respectful and be listening and that would continue be a great that start. Yeah. And just to continue the conversation, I think. Yeah. Um, Cause I understand that that kind of blunt end with the two minutes, it's really hard to get in like, like just this organic conversation so far has already been over two minutes. So it, it just would be really unfair to 
to stop that and then the and hopefully the back and forth if there's somebody on the council that's actually listening taking notes tried to follow up and then that's more of a conversation that's what my goal would be okay. I don't know you realize there is no real reason for that to be a two minutes that that does not have to be that something that if all of you on the council felt differently about that could change yeah yeah that would be really cool <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it could I think there would be that initial trial phase absolutely and then hopefully after that but yeah. it's just an idea and, and I would have to talk to other city council members to oh, see what course. the you know again what, what why ha why was it changed and has right. there been an improvement or what did we gain can we reassess and what did you lose is really yeah, the question this is exactly yeah what what, did, what was the give and take there yeah um, and if we can try something new yeah, yeah, I hope to be hopefully a new person with new right. ideas, but I also understand that I have some learning to do. So no, kind it's, of it's balancing that line yeah. again. Yeah. It is important to be a person with ideas yeah. and yeah. to be able to look at them in the context of the city. And how long have you lived here? Three years. So I've been a new portion. I, I that's what I call it, a new portion <laughs> for three years. And I yeah, and yeah I love this community. <laughs> and you've been in Newport all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that gives. Oh, you arrived at just at the time of COVID then. Yes. Yes. So oh. that's kind of part <laughs> of my passion is, is uh, I I had COVID kind of shake up. I moved because I lost my job, and I landed here. And it's, it. I think that that whole situation, all of COVID, really taxed some areas that our mm -hmm. communities really rely on, whether it's healthcare workers, right. teachers, um, just yeah just simply like businesses got hit too. So I, seeing that, I want to continue the support that COVID funding has happened and just try to support them f from the local government side as well. Yeah. 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 I mean, you certainly picked a challenging time to yeah. jump into the city. That's what I do best. <laughs> and what you saw then is, is not what anybody saw before. I mean, there were so many changes, obviously. Yeah. And it's really hard to move back into what, and we, reality, we can't move back into what was, mm -hmm. but we can move forward into something that's new and different, but does involve community. Yes, key, key is involving community. Yeah, I think that that was kind of a bonus. I started teaching at a new school right at COVID, so it was kind of helpful. I, I did not know what was in the past, <laughs> and I was just, everything kept getting better because, you know, restrictions lightened up and things like that. But in the same with this approach in city council is I don't know all of what has happened in the past. I understand mm -hmm. some sentiment, again, talking with the community, really sure. hearing what people want and how to support them best, mm -hmm. and then going forward from there. I'm very... I'm future oriented and mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping some ideas will maybe spark that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you have any sort of really special things that are of particular interest to you? And, and I know you say outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. I l really want to support, I think housing is an issue and I hear huh. it a lot. Sure is. Yep. And in my reaction, that's validating. See, <laughs> just even that simply that kind of inner sure that, is. Or, yeah. 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 Is is important and we're all human right um so housing is an issue and i think part of housing is some like economic growth if there's more jobs what are we going to do about um, businesses in town so i think that all kind of go together and i would hope that being on city council would allow me to look ahead and say okay is this a short-term game or is this a long-term game are we gonna is this gonna just please people short term but like what about long term are people really going to want to move here and live mm -hmm. here um and i get a lot of oh you're really young like how'd you land here you know i don't know if you're gonna ask me that <laughs> this is a fair question um but there's actually quite a few of us i there's um, <laughs> that's the good news yes. isn't it for those of us who are really old it's really important that yeah, there are I some who are like, really young either fresh face young blood yeah. um those terms if if you're it's Steve important. Harvey and your you know family feud that that yeah. would be it but um there are quite a like I I don't know I know about I would say nearly a dozen people that have moved here in the last year and mm -hmm. and they have so I hope to be in step with them and hearing their concerns for building you know starting families yeah um and what draws them and keep those things going because as far as economic growth yeah the key word is growth <laughs> um and 
So kind of being in step with what, you know, looking ahead and getting their perspective, but also hearing the community. I love talking to people. <laughs> so yeah. I'm hoping to kind of be the tandem in between. Yeah, I mean, the community clearly is all ages. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the good news. And this Newport is small enough for that to be feasible. Yeah. I mean, some of the bigger cities that you've probably lived in and I have, are, they're sort of, there's diff many different communities. Yeah. But here we really have the opportunity to come together. Yes. We don't always have to agree. Yeah, yeah. But, and that's okay. Yeah, exactly. We're all human. We have different perspectives. It's really interesting that you've managed to, in the short time, find as many other, quote, young people. I mean, you put signs out. <laughs> I, you know what? I, <laughs> people see that video, they're like, wait, that's the lady that stopped me and said, hey, do you want to be friends? Oh, that's I made cool. friends that way. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, you live around here? Yeah. Oh, how long? Okay, well, welcome. Here's my name. Here's my number. Like, reach out. Um, and yeah, I've, I've made friends that way. I'm a little forward, but I, I also no, think I'm very good. approachable at the same time. Like I'm yeah. not weird or I try not to be weird about it. Um, but yeah, I, I like to see people where they're at and just, yeah, reach out and extend a hand. And you, and again, this community has been really friendly. So it's, it's been at least reciprocated. I think like a lot of people are like, Oh, I don't recognize your last name, you know? So yeah. it's, it's, it, it's. It's a community that yeah. develops that and nourishes, and yeah. And other new people to the area are also in the same position as you. They want to connect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. found social media is kind of helpful, but honestly, just going out, like going to pick and shovel to go working on the house or Isn't pick and going on a, a walk. Great resource. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's yeah. Oh my God. Go there many, many a times in a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Went there recently on Sunday for Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I was like, where is everybody? And then it was Super Bowl Sunday. So they were watching TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eating chicken wings or something. Yeah. It was like great. I was like, I have this place to myself. And so anyways. Um, but yeah, or if I'm out like on the trails, um, yeah, people are really, really friendly and open to conversation. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I hope that that also continues as I'm a city, if I'm elected as city council, that I can continue having those conversations just throughout the town, naturally. And also if I bother, or if you came to meeting and I wanted to circle back with you. So. Those conversations are the way that you find out what the pulse is in town. I mean, is there a heart that's still beating? <laughs> uh, it's really important to know that. Yes, indeed. And if it's not beating very strongly, what would help it beat in a way that's more effective? Yeah, what gets people involved, what gets people incited, because that's what yeah. will draw them to downtown and keep this community. Yeah. Do you have any specific ideas for what could, would excite people? I know that the um, pit is an issue, and I don't know at this moment what my powers could be <laughs> with that. But I am really inter I am interested in getting and rejuvenating that part of town. I like um, I would more st start with the community members. Like I've gotten feedback. Someone came to me that we've, I've been helping put on the Newport. Um, little gateway center yeah. on Saturday nights. And I've been, I saw occasionally I take the microphone and just say my name. And people have come up to me with really good ideas. For example, um, somebody came up and let me know that the Gardner Park playground area mm -hmm. is not wheelchair acceptable bec or ac accessible because there's a, just like a four by four. Yes. And so just simply building a small ramp. That would be really so easy to with, fix. Yeah, exactly. So, so things like that is I'm, I'm willing to go to pick again, pick and shovel. I should, they should, yeah. you know, um, sponsor this, but go there, grab some gear. Maybe I understand parks and rec would be, have to be involved for that process, but really just right. starting with those small steps, like the little concerns and just making Newport a place for all in all. And I, right. Yeah. And that's actually not a small step yeah. because that accessibility is so important. I mean, something you said at the beginning was you have a soft voice. Mm -hmm. Is it easy to hear you? Was well, you've probably noticed at the city council meetings, there's no mic. Mm. It is for incredibly. the speakers. Right? Yes. Yeah. And there's like two on the table. Yeah. Yeah. But they're yeah. not turned on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you would know how to handing us mics. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, the mics that are on the table are recording devices for, mm. and they're so, it's possible to have a mic on the table and pass it up and down, but they never do. 
Yeah. Unless we yell at them from the peanut gallery and right. say, come on. Yes, and so how can we include members of the community that are deaf or hard of hearing or um, is, is that a translator? Is that an American Sign Language? Right. Like, is that a, somebody who's typing and yes. able to take diligent notes? Exactly. No, that was <laughs> So you don't have to be even deaf or hard of hearing, of course, yes. many of us are as we, as we age, or are born that way anyway. Yeah, exactly. But the acoustics in that room are horrible. Yeah, and so there's like the basketball, again, I yeah. love it. It's like the community, is, we're all there in the same place. Absolutely, um, but doing, it does yeah. make hearing what's said on the, on the stage yeah. challenging. Yeah, yeah. So it, just as you could build a little ramp by a pick and shovel yeah. in Gardner Park. Yeah. Just simple amplification yeah. of what's said would make such a difference. Yeah. Right now I want to be writing this down. This is like, okay, this is another thing on my to-do <laughs> list. Make to-do lists, I, yeah, it'll stick better. But yeah, yeah so just I'm, I want to make sure what, within my role of city council, if that were to come true, um, to be really looking forward and making sustainable choices and including all members of our community. Um, that right. would, that's my mostly what I'm going for. So and inclusion mm -hmm. really makes a difference. Yes, yes, yes. So talking with young people, talking to all demographics, sincerely, right. and I mean that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where mm -hmm. are you from? Mm, good question. Uh, I was born in California, raised in Tennessee, and then I spent about eight years in Montana. And but I found love with winters, and but wanted to be closer to family on the East Coast. So yeah, that's my. <laughs> so that's what brought you here. <laughs> yes, yes. Eventually, family. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've certainly experienced rural living if mm -hmm. you were in Montana, because yeah. that's pretty similar in a lot of ways to here. Yes. Yeah. Looking yeah. more harsh, the environment, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was. It was again those small communities that I was yeah. like, this is what I. Yeah. I, w I was living in a town of about, I think it was like 60,000. That's um, big. <laughs> and it was big. But my favorite days were, uh, were days where I would go out and um, work in schools and rural communities. Yeah. And um, yeah, so part of that was engaging them in the environment and sure. um, creating stewards. But it was also like working in the classrooms with just people that knew each other, knew each, you know, like yeah. it wasn't just a teacher, it was their neighbor and um, their cousin, you know, just mm -hmm. all of the beautiful things that connect us, I would hope to tap into. And I think I have, Newport's been really yeah. welcoming, so. How do you feel yeah. about transparency? Ooh, <laughs> that's funny. My phrasing is I go by transparency, but let me know if I'm not being clear. <laughs> so, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so I try to always be transparent and I'm also, talkative mm -hmm. and I don't get offended if you have any clarifying questions sure. or um, I want to be blunt I we can dive right into it yeah. so I, I think transparency is key especially for elected officials right so yeah and as you've probably observed some of the um, should we say confusion that you've seen has been directly because of a lack of transparency yeah I I do, I'll talk with them. I, I I wonder what more paperwork and things that they could to prove, you know. Um, I've tried to listen, I've listened to some constituents saying, I, I don't know what they're looking for at this point. So I would, again, that talking to them and figuring out what they're missing. Cause I've seen them, I seen city council pull out audits, show different paperwork. And I also, I still hear concerns though. So there's still that missing piece. And I, I don't, <laughs> and I don't, yeah, I don't, you, know, <laughs> you, you probably could tell me the answer right now, but I would, yeah. I would want to know because sure. I see both ends trying to get to the same resolution, but it just hasn't happened yet. And so I'm wondering if, if there's another thing <laughs> that we're missing. Right. Yeah. But you personally would always opt for the route of Okay, this is the concern. Let's shine a light on it. Let's yes, really look own at it, it. Name it. Yeah. That would be mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. that's the kind of willingness that truly makes a difference. Yeah. As opposed to shutting down. Yeah. Yeah, because if the shutdown is a defense, um, it's, it's just a, a mechanism that we humans have for reasons. And um, but understanding that it's a workplace, this is a job. There's reasons people are asking questions, and it's not. 
always to question them, like in the way, like question their authority or their intent. It's often just to seek understanding. So as long as the questions are there to say, I just want to know for right. this reason, not an accusation, I think there could be a better balance on both ends for that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the other day, I um, I was skiing on the trails, or on the bike path, love mm -hmm. the bike path. One of the things I fell in love with, I was like, I'm moving here. <laughs> um, but skiing and I started to go in the Memphis Magog trails yeah. and somebody skied up and said, hey, your dogs need to be leashed. I had one of my pups leashed because he's not the best boy. And I had one of my really obedient dogs off leash. And so I was just asking questions like, oh, I didn't know this was the rule. And, um, and I think he might have interpreted that I was like questioning the rules and him and his authority because I, I thought I was being really light handed, but he was not, he was kind of buckling down in a way that I was, I don't know, I was just trying to have like a fun, light conversation like, oh, is, what's the school group about? You know, da 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 da. And, and it turns out there was really some issues like dog bites and oh, people yeah. getting knocked off. And so <laughs> I was just time. like, whoa. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let me know. I, I, That's and why I turned right rituals. around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I turned right around and, and later I looked at the map and I, so if I go again, I will abide accordingly. But it was yeah. that kind of, you know, the light, ba I thought I was having a light banter and, uh -huh, and, no. and, and, it, and I think he might've felt otherwise. Yeah. And so I, I, yeah, I, I need to get also better at in that instance. I mean, I'm revealing I wasn't mm -hmm. the best, <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, whoa, I hear you. I respect and really getting to the bottom of the issue, though, is yeah. like there was issues with dogs and other people. And I, I just thought, oh, the, the signage or, you know, so just simply understanding and getting it and hearing them and then leaving because I did not have right. an extra leash and I was not about to ruin somebody's day or pretend I didn't hear or cause so, an accident yeah, which is really exactly. the issue that's not yeah that's not what I'm there to do right <laughs> so um yeah so just kind of yeah. talking through issues it's hard it's uncomfortable at times of course um but I'm willing to do it and, and in a weird way I enjoy it yeah. <laughs> so, yeah so in the last couple of minutes because we are out of time um, yeah what would you like people to know about you that they may not already know from Ooh. this last 20 minutes? Oh my goodness. I want to be silly and just say like, I like puns, I'm a Capricorn, but <laughs> for getting down to business for a city council, yeah, I hope to be that person that you can grab after the meeting or shoot me a text um, or an email and I'll meet over coffee, go for, oh, I love walk and talks actually. Um, or if there's a group that you think is not being heard, I would love to come and visit. Mm -hmm. like I'm right now working with the Rainbow Coalition in town, trying to be the liaison for their parade and, and coordinating with city council members for that. I love that sort of role. Um, so I really hope to be an approachable mm -hmm. person that you're thinking, I would like to see this change. Um, and how can we go about that? Not, right. I need this period. Like, I hope to be a collaborative member who has just different ideas mm -hmm. and um, but also gently understanding that I am going to be new and I'm going to be learning at the same time. And I'm, I'm a human. I'm not perfect. Absolutely. But um, I, I, yeah, I hope to serve Newport well and be as welcoming and as kind as it has been to me. So, yeah. And being able to say, I'm human and I didn't know my dog had to be on a leash. Exactly, is, yeah. I'm going to get out of here, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, it yeah. It truly does. Yeah. Okay, well, Thank you for coming yeah, in. There will probably be more debates. I think the newspaper's talking about doing something. Yeah, I know that another organization is as well. So yeah. hopefully there'll be other opportunities for people to get to know you. Yes, awesome. Okay, okay. thank you.